All right, the energy is high now. You'll understand in just a second. She was a caffeine, carb, and sugar junkie, just like the rest of us, <laughs> and didn't know any better. And that realization is what started our next guest on a mission to simplify and uncomplicate her diet. After becoming pregnant with her first child, she decided to cut out all packaged foods, and that's when she discovered healthy, real foods and flavors she'd actually never tasted before. It was a decision that transformed her life. And joining us with the rest of her story, we welcome Jenny Blakeney, the real food scout, to the show. Thank Woo! you for joining hey, us. Jenny. Thank you. So, yeah. first of all, how did you get that title? And how did you start, you know, realizing that you wanted to change your diet? Well, um, like we said before, like I got pregnant. And it was really the first time I was not a health conscious person. I was mm. from Texas. I was eating cream of mushroom soup casseroles most of the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, not a vegetable wrong with that. in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like and delicious. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I got pregnant. And it was really the first time that I thought about what I was putting in my body, mm. more so for my growing baby's body than myself. And um, I was really overwhelmed with a lot of the stuff that I was reading, um, and I just kind of clicked and said, you know what, I've got to, I've got to make some changes. I need to start eating more fruits and vegetables and real foods. And there was a lot of health jargon out there that was confusing to me too. You know, every day we're hearing something new yes. in the news, mm -hmm. what yes. to eat, what not to eat. Um, and I was like, you know what, I've got to just simplify this for myself and I need to eat more real foods, more fruits, more vegetables, whole foods mm -hmm. and less processed foods. And that's so, kind of how it all started. So was there research involved in how you kind of put one foot in front of the other because I too am on that healthy journey trying to get there but I'm telling you honey some days are better than others and it's intimidating <laughs> and a lot of like, it is yes, because you don't know what what's healthy what you yeah. should eat what you should not eat how do you know how to what to eat how to choose what to eat and what's good for you I mean it's so much that I mean that's how I simplified it for myself so any doctor that you will talk to says to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the main thing. Also, more whole grains, mm -hmm. um, you know, beans, better quality meats. Um, so I, it was more of just a focus on getting more of those things mm -hmm. and less of the packaged foods, right? Because the standard American diet, which is what most of us grew up eating, we're all eating, is a high carb, high sugar yeah, yep, diet. Yep. And it's causing so many diseases, mm -hmm. you know. Nowadays, um, heart disease, autoimmune disorders, cancer, all of that is directly connected to our high mm -hmm. carb, high sugar, processed food diet. So, so when you say things like better quality meat, we're thinking like organic meats, like grass fed beef and stuff like that. Yes. So yes. people automatically associate that with higher costs. Mm -hmm. So what do you say yes. to people when they're like, but this diet is going to cost me more money? We're actually spending less money now on foods than we have in the last 50 years. Less oh. of our income on food that we have in the last 50 years. And we're spending less money than any other country. So we're spending more of our money on poor quality foods. And so poor you're saying quality invest, yeah. invest in I, I, the And food. I'm saying, I actually believe that we need to be spending more. We just need to shift a little bit. You know, right. I'm always like, do you need leather and sunroof or do you need maybe just yeah. a... Right. Okay. That's a good I've always argued that actually organic foods, because we do a lot of organic in our house, they last longer. You know, where before I would, we, there were foods spoiling constantly in my house and we were throwing them out and I thought, how wasteful. But organic foods tend to last longer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's, like you said, it's an investment mm -hmm. too, right? Mm -hmm. So you're buying better quality foods that are going to make you feel better. I mean, yeah. this shift for me, I had more energy. We were just talking about it as we were dancing. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, know. Shane is shaming us with the energy <laughs> level today. Um, but more energy. I my chron chronic sinus infections stopped. Oh, wow. um, and this is all from you just shifting your just diet shifting. and doing fresh. Yeah. Wow. And I still eat treats. I mean, we'll talk about it. And we'll talk about it in the kitchen segment mm -hmm. too, because we're doing a little treat there too. But I definitely treat myself a lot. It's just different kinds, you know, not a candy bar, maybe something I'm making at home mm -hmm. with dates or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's also shifting that palate that you and I kind of yeah, talked about right, too, because right. we're brought up with so much sugar and so much of this salty and sweet packaged food, mm -hmm. so we're craving that mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. So if we focus just on um, kind of shifting that and changing that, then you start craving better quality foods too. So if somebody wants to start shifting, like, I mean, I want to start, but maybe not today. This is the one who <laughs> <laughs> Tips. Over. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. The jelly friend. beans are gone, right. and the pop tarts are all gone, and everything else.
yourself. <laughs> yeah. Then you're it, giving up pop tarts. So, oh, I know that'll Girl, be tough. Girl, you're eating <laughs> pop tarts. Yeah, that's pop tarts every day. Out. So when I come talk, we're going to talk about tips to try and get over that, to get rid of the pop tarts. What do you have for as far as tips for changing that diet once and for all? I love a pop tart too, but I haven't had a pop tart in a long time. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know. Nice um, warm and I would say my number one tip is just to flip over the package and read the ingredients. It is eye-opening and scary. Oh my gosh, can I just tell you, okay. Yeah, that that alone <laughs> yes. will make you drop it like a hot Oh, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. But that means like you don't pay attention to the front of the package so much. No, and that's like, you know, it's the marketing at the front of the package, it's not mm -hmm. regulated really. They can put anything they want on the front. And so, it, you know, it's a, you're, you're Roman they make it romantic to you that you know to pull you switch. in. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it is definitely like ooh, it it says all these things on the front of it, and it's not actually oats mm -hmm. and honey. But then you uh, see like forty two grams of sugar. Yes, right. and they can they can use the words differently too to kind of you know multi grain. But it doesn't mean it's whole grain. Yep. That just means it has lots of different kinds of yep. grains that could right. be refined grains. Mm -hmm. um, different th tricks they can use too about saying if it has no added sugar, but there's still ways they can put sugar in there too so so, yeah, so we, we shouldn't really about. trust the nutrition facts then so yes yeah, so that's kind of the tips i want to talk about so myths um don't read the front of the package at all just immediately flip it over and then also i say don't read the nutrition label mm -hmm. so really? this is what a lot of us especially my generation we're so we grew up where we were looking at fat, fat. Mm -hmm. okay yes. but that we all know that's bogus now um that we need fat for brain health and heart health and all of that um so nutrition label, we're not going to read anymore. Just wow. forget it for now. Later on, we'll, we can do that because I think it's important to talk about sugar there too. But um, we just are looking for the ingredient list. Wow. So not the front where it looks pretty and you think, mm -hmm. oh, it must be clean or whatever. This one's actually a good one. But, um, but you want to look, again, not at the nutrition label, but just the ingredients. So even just these two. Yeah, this one has a lot more in the ingredients list. And a lot things more. that I can't pronounce. Yeah. 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 Yes. So okay. the important thing is to have five ingredients or less is what you're saying. Ideally, like this one has more. More so ingredients, I call it my short and simple strategy. So you want the ingredient list to be short, um, five, six, you know, something like that. I don't know how many this one has, but mm -hmm. it's a, a good jar of marinara sauce if you didn't want to make your own. The second part of the short and simple strategy is simple. Are the ingredients simple things that you would have in your pantry? Mm -hmm. Could you make this at home with things you have in your pantry? Um, hmm. A lot of these pasta sauces, probably should have covered that up, but um, like you're probably not going to make your marinara sauce with canola oil, oil or soy oil. You're going to make it with olive oil. Mm -hmm. You're also probably not going to add sugar to your marinara and almost, I mean, 90% of the pasta sauces have sugar added mm -hmm. to it too. And if I'm going to have sugar, I want to have it in something I want to have. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste that sugar teaspoon yeah. in my pasta yeah. sauce, right. you know, point. right? Yeah. Like so I want to have it for something else. So then for people who are watching right now, what's a tip that they can like that first that they can take like today or tomorrow if you're Angelia. Yeah. <laughs> or the you friend she wants to ask about. Yeah. Right. Um, like we said, flip over the package, read the ingredients, but also one of the first things I changed was um, just eating more greens and more vegetables because I really wasn't doing that and I didn't know how to do it. So um, in the mornings I was adding greens to a smoothie because that was a way I could kind of knock it out and get used to that change. Um, or adding greens to eggs something like that. Um, also, I say to people, don't try to overhaul your diet in one big swoop. Just baby step it. And that's what the whole blog is about. Um, just baby stepping the journey, you know, trying different things. Um, but also start maybe with one meal. Start with breakfast. Instead of getting a pre-made oatmeal packet with brown sugar already in it, just start with oats and make it your own. Um, that kind of thing. So just start with breakfast and then after maybe you're comfortable with breakfast, then we'll move on to lunch and then dinner, but don't do it all. Mm -hmm. That's such a I less intimidating right. way of looking at yeah. it. Yeah, so it's not overwhelming at yeah. that point. And you, wow. you also see when you start with breakfast, then it kind of shifts the way your day goes, right? Because mm. we talked about that too. When you're having a bunch of sugar in the Why coffee Why are you pointing at morning, me, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> talked about it before. <laughs> <laughs> we talked kidding. about maybe some coffee and some sugar that was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That'll so do. now I feel that I've got to go home and throw away all my peeps, but no. oh, yeah, because yeah, no. they're gross. I don't know. That's no, amazing. they're yummy. All right, yeah. after the break, we're going to head into the kitchen with Jenny. Jenny's going to show us a few easy to follow cooking strategies to help put real food on the table without a lot of effort. We'll be right back.